BJP National Executive Meet gets underway in Delhi. Upcoming Assembly election and Lok Sabha elections 2019 are on the agenda. India Czech Republic signed five agreements as part of President Ramnath Kovind's visit to the country. Tripura observes International Literacy Day with the theme Literacy and Skills Development. Assam pays a rich tribute to Dr. Rupen Hazorika on his 92nd birthday. State government to set up cultural site near Dhala Khodia Bridge. And Asian Games gold medalist says she will do her best to perform well in next Olympics, even though the time is short. Good evening and welcome to the North East News. This is Hans Raj. And now the news in details. In national news first, a two-day national executive meet of the Bharatiya Janata Party got on the way in New Delhi today at the Ambedkar International Center. Before the meet, BJP Chief Amit Shah had a meeting with the party office bearers. Prime Minister Narendra Modi and BJP Chief Amit Shah jointly inaugurated the meet. All senior leaders, including LK Adwani, took part in the meeting. Upcoming assembly elections and general elections of 2019 are on the agenda of the meeting. The party discussed the benefits of central schemes reaching the common man. Organizational issues are also on the agenda. In the past four years, the Modi government has implemented a number of programs for the welfare of the masses. और पार्टी के सारे वरिष्ठ नेता उसमें उसमें शामिल होंगे और ये अटल जी को याद करके अटल जी के बताए हुए पथ पर आगे बढ़ने का संकल्प लेकर ये राष्ट्रीय कार्य समिति की बैठक चलेगी Moving on, President Ramnath Kovind, who is in Czech Republic on the last leg of his three-nation Europe tour, met Prime Minister Andrzej Babis of Czech Republic. The two leaders discussed closer defense and business relations and the scope for Czech manufacturing companies to partner with India. Earlier on Friday, India and the Republic signed five agreements as part of President Kovind's visit. One agreement is on cooperation between the Council for Scientific and Industrial Research, India and the Czech Academy of Sciences. Others include a visa waiver agreement for diplomatic passport holders, a work plan to support Indo-Czech uh, projects in diverse areas of science and technology with the Department of Science and Technology, cooperation in laser technology between LE Beam Lines and the Tata Institute of Fundamental Research and cooperation between Haryana Agricultural University and the Czech University of Life Sciences. Studies on yoga have confirmed the positive impact it has on human health and well-being. I am happy to learn that yoga and Ayurveda have been receiving overwhelming support and interest in the Czech Republic. In Moving on to the northeast now. In Manipur, Chief Minister has said frequent burns and blockages affect the state's economy. Inaugurating an edible oil and refinery plant and mushroom cultivation with a search and development unit at Lairekembi Maning Lekai in Manipur, uh, Imphal West, in district of Friday, Singh said such buns and blockages also discourage the tourists from visiting the state. He said private individual discontents should not create problems for the general public. The present government is for the people of the state, whose sole purpose is to bring smiles for the people, he added. Tripura also joined the rest of the world today in observing the International Literacy Day. The theme this year is Literacy and Skills Development. Education Minister Ratan Lal Nath inaugurated a program at Ravindra Satabarshiki Bhavan. In his speech, he said communication is a basic skill for interacting with fellow humans and to facilitate understanding when developing a society. Apart from Agartala, other subdivisions of the state also observed the day. <laughs> Manu. 
In news from Meghalaya, Chief Minister Conrad Sangma today said the new education policy for the state is now on the anvil. Addressing the fourth convocation of the University of Science and Technology in Meghalaya, U.S. Tim Ian Ninth Mile Revoy, Sangma said the government will announce the policy this month itself. He urged the graduating students to be passionate about whatever they do. The Chief Minister lauded the effort of USTM to grow as a world-class institution. Altogether, 1,094 graduates were awarded degrees at the convocation, of which eight were honored with PhD degrees, 423 students were offered postgraduate degrees, and 263 were offered undergraduate degrees. And uh, today happens to be your convocation. So I think uh, what more a beautiful day to have the convocation program and have it on the International Literacy Day. So I take this off. In Assam, Chief Minister Harbananda Hunwal today paid rich tributes to Dr. Bhupen Hajorika on the occasion of the legendary singer's 92nd birth anniversary. Hunwal visited the Maestro's memorial at Jalukbari in the morning. Speaking on the occasion, the Chief Minister said the state government has already decided to set up a homonoi khetra in the name of the legendary singer near Dhola Khodia Bridge to reflect the unique yet closely connected culture, traditions and lifestyle of all the tribes and communities of the Northeast. Minister of State for Cultural Affairs Nobo Kumar Dole in his speech underlined the need for translation of Dr. Hazorika's works into English and other Indian languages in order to promote his values among a wider section of the society. An art competition titled Tulikat Bhupen Mama was also organized by MyGov Assam in association with the Department of Cultural Affairs. The Manipur government has signed a memorandum of understanding with VFS Global to introduce citizen-centric service delivery system by establishing a citizen facilitation center. Chief Secretary Dr. J. Suresh Babu and Dev Kumar Bandhupadhyay, Head of Business South Asia Region VFS Global Exchange, the MOU, in the presence of Chief Minister N. Biren Singh at a press conference in Imphal today. The Chief Minister said that more than 50 services would be made accessible to the public under a single window system with a commencement of services of the center to be implemented under the PPP model. People need to need not go to different offices for getting documents or delivery services like birth certificate, income certificate, cast certificate, ration card, Aadhaar card, marriage certificate, driving license and education enrollment as all the services would be made available at the center. In Meghalaya, the state cabinet has approved the proposal of the education department to increase the upper age limit to 32 years for teachers' appointment right from a primary school to the college level. There will be a relaxation for ST candidates by five years, thereby fixing the upper age at 37. After the cabinet meeting in Shillong on Friday, Education Minister Lakhman Rimbui told reporters that by increasing the age limit would give more opportunity to teachers to complete their extra qualifications and get more years to apply for the teaching job. Enhancement of marriage scholarship for students studying in lower and the upper primary schools from 100 rupees to 600 rupees per month for lower primary and from 40 rupees to 600 rupees per month for upper primary were also approved by the cabinet. The Tripura State Election Commission has geared up to complete the process of filing up uh, nomination papers for the Panchayat by election. In Gram Panchayat level, altogether 485 BJP candidates have filed their nomination papers on Friday, while CPIM have filed nomination papers only in 44 seats. Congress candidates have submitted nominations only in 28 seats, while the IPFT, an ally of the BJP, has been able to put up candidates in four Gram Panchayat seats. Asian Games gold medalist Hima Das today said time is running short for the Olympics, but she will do her best to perform satisfactorily. Uh, talking to the media in Guwahati, she said hard work and a congenial environment are the key to success in sports. She said she will take a call at an appropriate time on the offer of a job by the Assam government. <laughs> I 
On day two of the fifth and final cricket test at the Oval, England resuming at the overnight score of 198 for seven, where 243 for eight in their first innings a short while ago. Joss Butler on 28 and Stuart Broad the 12 were at the crease. On Friday, England won the toss and elected to bat first. England have already taken an unassailable 3-1 lead in the five-match series. India won the third match at Nottingham. In Manipur, the World Physical Therapy Day was observed today by the All Manipur Physiotherapist Association with the theme Physical Therapy and Mental Health at Lamianba Sanglan Imphal East. Speaking as a chief guest at the function, State Governor Dr. Nazma Hatullah said medical science is one of the most advanced fields today with medical wonders happening all around. Cure has been found for diseases which was once unthinkable. New technologies have been developed to combat the challenges in the health sector, she added. A two-day national seminar on consolidation and challenges of tourism, The Road Ahead, was organized by Shillong Commerce College. Speaking on the occasion, a chief guest tourism minister, Medbal Lingdo, said inflow of domestic tourists in Meghalaya are on the rise and stakeholders from the tourism industry should know how to handle and get the maximum benefits. And before winding up, the headlines once again. Today, BJP National Executive meets gets underway in Delhi. Upcoming Assembly elections and Lok Sabha elections 2019 are on the agenda. India Czech Republic signed five agreements as part of President Ramnath Kovin's visit to the country. Tripura observes International Literacy Day with the theme Literacy and Skills Development. Assam pays rich tributes to Dr. Bhupen Hajarika on his 92nd birthday. State government to set up cultural site near Dhola Khodia Bridge. An Asian Games gold medalist says she will do her best to perform well in next Olympics even though the time is short. And that brings us to the end of this evening's bulletin. Thank you for tuning in. Namaskar.